वेलकम हेयर आर दिस सेवेंटीन फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्क क्वेश्चन अबाउट फिल्टर वैलिडेशन स्टडी इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव कंटेंट वी विल स्टार्ट विद वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन वॉट इज फिल्टर वैलिडेशन स्टडी फिल्टर वैलिडेशन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ कन्फर्मिंग दैट द फिल्टर यूज टू स्टेरलाइज फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट डज इट एडिकुएटली बाय रिमूविंग माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एज पर पी डी एस टेक्निकल रिपोर्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स A sterilizing grade filter must remove all microorganisms present in a fluid stream without adversely affecting product quality. Next question what are the eight elements for filter validation study? Eight elements for filter validation study are first sterilization, second stability, third binding properties, fourth compatibility, fifth extractables or leachables. Sixth retention, seventh integrity testing, and eighth is claiming fit for use. This one is very frequently asked question, which is standard challenge microorganism for qualifying sterilizing grade filters. Answer is Brewdimonas dimonita, ATCC culture number one nine four one six, is considered as standard challenge microorganism for qualifying sterilizing grade membranes for point two micrometer. It is used at minimum concentration of 10 raised to 7 CFU per centimeter square. Reference for this information is PDS Technical Report Number 26 and ASTM 83805. What is working principle of sterilizing grade filter? Sterilizing grade filter works on the basis of four basic principles: first, sieve retention; second, physical capture; third, direct interception; and fourth, size exclusion. What are the different types of filters used in pharmaceutical industry? There are commonly two types of filters used in pharmaceutical industry. First is hydrophilic filters and second are hydrophobic filters. Current available materials of construction include but not limited to polymers such as cellulose esters, nylon, polyesters, polytetrafluoroethylene, polyvinylidene fluoride, polycarbonate, polypropylene, polyether sulfone and polysulfone. Next very commonly asked question where hydrophilic and hydrophobic filters can be made applicable commonly in pharmaceutical industry hydrophilic filters are used for aqueous based liquid processes while hydrophobic filters are used for solvent vent and gas applications Next question what are the three basic types of filter configurations used in pharmaceutical industry There are three basic types of filter configuration generally accepted for sterilizing products. First, flat stock membrane, second preassembled capsules and third membrane cartridge assemblies. What are filter selection and characterization criteria during filter validation study? Following filter selection and characterization criteria are considered during filter validation study. It includes filter types, filter configuration, particle shading, extractables chemical compatibility thermal and hydraulic stress resistance toxicity testing bacterial challenge testing and physical integrity testing which parameters shall be simulated during filter validation study ph and viscosity of material to be filtered flow rates pressures temperature compatibility of material with the filter itself and the effect of hydraulic shock are the factors of production which can affect filter performance and which should be simulated during validation of filtration processes reference of this information is fda's guidance on sterile drug product produced by aseptic processing 2004 for what time and temperature filtration simulation shall be done simulation of longest contact time and maximum temperature shall be done during filter validation study What are the requirements of extractable and leachable study the parts of the production equipment here filter and filtration assembly that come into contact with the product must not be reactive additive or absorptive to such an extent that it will affect the quality of product and thus present any hazard reference hydraulics volume 4 which points shall be considered after filter validation study Once the specific membrane or product process combination is validated for bacterial retention future changes in the filter configuration may not require revalidation provided that the following requirements are met first the filter membrane has not changed second 
the flow rate as per the unit area is less than or equal to the validated parameters third the filtration pressure does not exceed the validated parameters fourth the exposure time does not exceed the validated time and fifth appropriate extractable data are available for the filter configuration selected what is importance of filter integrity testing in filter validation study the main objective of non destructive physical integrity test is to determine the presence of oversized pores or defects which compromises a given filter's retention capability without destroying the filter what are the two weighting methods for filters for integrity testing use an appropriate weighting fluid typically the filter manufacturer recommended reference weighting fluid is critical in obtaining a correct pass or fail integrity test values the two methods are product weighted integrity testing and second is water weighted integrity testing when a sterilizing grade filter should be integrity tested as per pds technical report number 26 it is generally regarded as a cgmp requirement that filters or filter systems routinely be integrity tested both prior to and after use what are the methods for filter sterilization in pharmaceutical industry filter sterilization is achieved by the three commonly applied methods first is steam sterilization which can be done by the two ways first autoclave sterilization or second is sterilize in place method second method for filter sterilization is irradiation sterilization and third is gas sterilization last but very important question what are the non destructive physical integrity testing methods for filters commonly three non destructive physical integrity testing methods used in pharmaceutical industry for filters these are bubble point test method second diffusive flow or forward flow test method and third is pressure hold or pressure decay test method Keep watching Farm Grow subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry